So when we have NaCl plus H2O, we want to try to figure out what we might end up with when these two are mixed together. NaCl, that's a salt, and it will be a solid unless you heat it up really hot. And then H2O, we usually experience that as a liquid in the laboratory, but it could be a solid if you froze it or if you got it hot, it could be a gas. Let's work with a solid here and a liquid. So we add our NaCl solid to the liquid, and what happens? Well, since this is ionic, it's going to break apart into its ions. So Na is going to become Na plus the sodium ion. Chlorine will be Cl, and that's minus. That's the chloride ion. And then we'll have our water here. A better way to write the equation might be to say that the Na plus is dissolved in water. And we have a special way of writing that. We write Aq. That stands for aqueous dissolved in water. Chloride ion as well is Aq because it's dissolved in water. And then we don't need this H2O here because we've said that it's dissolved in water. And this would be the equation for NaCl plus H2O. Most people don't consider this actually a chemical reaction. We have the NaCl, we put it in water, it dissolves. But then if the water evaporates and we get this Na plus aqueous plus the Cl minus aqueous, it's dissolved in the water. But if you let the water sit out for a while or you heat it up, it'll evaporate, and then you'll be left back with your NaCl, your solid salt. This is Dr. B with the equation for NaCl plus H2O, and thanks for watching.